Hey, what's up there, guys? Elton here. I'm here in the St. Leonard sector of Montreal, Quebec here. And I wasn't going to do a walking video here because I already did a very long one before. And it's uh, cold and, the, you know, these fucking batteries don't do too well with a lot of cold. But uh, regardless, I'm in an old industrial sector here in the city. And you never know what you're going to see in terms of old vehicles. So uh, I figure let's get things cracking. And uh, look at this, here's an excavation company, Saint Marie Excavation. Got some uh, road graders over there. Yeah, but one of the reasons why I really started to film this video is right here. Look at that beauty. That's a 70, 76 to 79 Chevy C, C30, I think. Yeah, because the C10 was the lighter lighter duty model but that one's got the bigger wheels like a dump truck flatbed that was like a c30 c60 and of course the biggest one sorry the biggest ones were the c60 and c70 models even this building look at that fucking uh, look at the letters they did at the bricks wow you don't see stuff like that that's really cool ggax this is fucking garbage i hate these fucking things why don't you make a fucking truck that looks like a truck like the decon line for example my god how can i not make a video here Look at this, he's got some heavy equipment here, dump trucks. Look at that, I can't see well though. Yeah, man. Oh, look at that, it says they're hiring here. CMF, or sorry, OMF. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, me, I'm thrilled. I just fucking filmed a, um, I just did a little video. I just spotted a 71 or 72 Buick Riviera, but man, oh man, is it ever rusted. She needs a lot of love, let me tell you. And you know, I can't believe I'm so, uh, you know, I'm such a Twitter. I forgot to mention how fucking fantastic today is. I mean, right now it's probably about, I don't know, one, one degree, zero. The winds are light, it's sunny, it's beautiful. Fuck's sake, November and a lot of October has been fucking shite, you know? Look at that, nice wheel loader. That's an unusual wheel loader. What is that actually? What make is that thing? Is that a cat? A nice old Ford there. Next to a stupid Hino. Yeah, lots of cool stuff around here. God damn it, I'm blind. The lens is my eyes. Oh, it's in Michigan. Holy shit, I didn't think they still made these things. Well, that must be one of the last ones they made because I don't remember ever seeing one of these as a modern uh, tractor wheel loader, you know? So a lot of garages around here, a lot of body shops, paint shops, industrial, industrial, and more industrial. And there's an older, older Lexus uh, ES250 right there. Not my favorite color, but gray, unfortunately, was popular even 20 years ago. No need to tell you how great these cars are, of course. Oh yeah, what street are we on? Oh, you've totally lost track of that kind of thing. Look how weird that is. All of a sudden, it's fucking residential over there. Not only that, even these traffic lights are fucking strange. I don't see traffic lights ever like that in this part of town. Uh, in, in here in Montreal, I should say. It's very odd. Yeah, because here usually in Montreal, you got these traffic lights are just like that, but there's four red lights on each of these units, not one. Now, where am I now? Ooh, good looking Cherokee. Where the fucking street sign? Street sign? There it is. Are at oh yes du chandeau and bombardier oh, oh. how fitting me talking about transportation and all these stupid fucking hinos parked here jesus christ only there's one type of hino i like and it's not the one that looks like a toy you know bombardier eh all right well all right then. so continuing along here Continuing along, see what else we can see. Boy, there's no lack of Hinos around here though. Matter of fact, I think the one parked over here might be the only one model that I like is the heavier duty one. The one with the large wheels, is that it? No, but it looks just like the one on the uh, left there. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Yeah, actually I'm walking north right now uh, for the purpose, uh, going to the CN St. Laurent subdivision uh, line, train line. I guess it's a good video for you if you like Hinos, if you like Hinos, or Fuzos for that matter. Jesus Christ, there's so many of them around here, it's disturbing. Oh, there's that G-Wagon. 
People love these things, eh? Not me, fuck. They sound good, though. I can admit it. Well, I remember a time not too many years ago where fucking... Uh... Ogi! Oji! I remember a time not too many years ago, and I've said this before in other videos, where... Uh... Fucking... Uh... Fucking only American vehicles sounded like that, not foreign vehicles in terms of V8s anyway. You know? That's a cool Econoline right there. Oh God almighty, I should have never worn these shoes today. That was a mistake. They're not waterproof at all. And fucking crazy now, the tips of my feet are all wet. Man, that's fucking sharp. That's eye-catching, I like that, it's smart. I think that's gonna be my thumbnail right there maybe. <laughs> I thought maybe of using that uh, that Chevy, that orange Chevy you saw there in the beginning, but uh, eh. I like to see the thing is one of the reasons why th one of the things I've learned about being a successful YouTuber is keeping things as the element of surprise, as they say. You know what I mean? Like not uh, you know showing the obvious right away, so you keep people uh, interested. Look at that. There's a nice old, uh, not old, but nice fucking motorhome over there. Wow. course how old is it I don't know what do I know look at this place Ararat <laughs> Ararat I was on Jean Talon Street there here in uh, St. Leonard earlier and uh, I uh, I'm walking along Jean Talon walking eastward and uh, what was it what did I see uh, yeah you know again this is a very Italian part of the city and uh, there was this uh, company called Assurance Coccinelle <laughs> And when you talk about a coccinelle, a coccinelle is French for beetle. But I wonder if it was a reference really to the Volkswagen beetle. I just thought it was funny. I laughed when I saw it. It was cute, you know. Oh, damn it. I got to take a whiz. Kind of bad timing. I have to duck out here somewhere and do that. Criminy. I was just singing earlier the song by... Uh... What the fuck is all this? Those are all... Look at that. Those are all old truck wheels. All used truck wheels. Holy shit. Not all of it, but that, that stuff's gonna go to fucking China probably. Yeah. Yeah, I was just singing a song, uh, Just a Gigolo, earlier. I'm just a gigolo, and everywhere I go, people know the part I'm playing. Pay for every dance, selling each romance, so what they say. Oh, there will come a day when youth will pass away. What would they say about me? When the end comes, I know they'll say just the gigolo. Life goes on without me, cause I ain't got nobody. Nobody cares for me. Nobody. That should be the theme song for being a fucking manic depressant like me, actually. Like, honestly, like, now I'm feeling good. I'm out and about. Motion creates emotion. It's a beautiful day. It's not too cold, but past few days, like, a lot of people have been fucking depressed. Cold and windy and fucking cloudy cocksucker oh I ain't got nobody nobody cares for me nobody cares for me I'm so sad and hey look at that gold look good old Honda Accord yeah man all rusted like fucking crazy it's just like all of them especially the wheel wells are always rusted the worst there that car probably has like 350,000 miles on it or something you know Oh my god, rusted out EXR. Yeah, it probably has 400,000 miles on it, for sure. Yeah, yeah, is this guy coming back now? I don't know if I can. Oh, there's something to do in here, eh? Anyway, that's a great song. Uh, and of course, it was also redone in the 80s by David Lee Roth, who was also known to be with uh, Van Halen. All right. Now, I think, if I'm not mistaken, there is a cider track, a spur off that CN line over here somewhere. Of course, I don't think that would really matter because it's, uh... Because it's fucking Saturday. I don't think we'll be doing any shunting today, but you never know. But actually, come to think of it, look how higher off that embankment is there. Is Maybe that CN line is there, actually. I'm wondering about that. What's my battery doing? Battery, battery. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, 
Yeah, you know what? I think it is fucking back there. But I mind you, nice stop there. Oh my god. Wow. I got that. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that fucking sand line is there. I'm gonna go a little further and see. Is there a street here or is this not a street? Hey. Oh, you know it's back. Oh, this is a little bit of wind here. Yeah, I still got to make that video about depression. I, um, I'm a little reluctant to do it because, you know, then it really gets personal. I mean, I am transparent, but I mean, I don't want to talk about every fucking thing about me, you know, uh, like anybody would. So, what is that? It's an old Grand Prix. The Grand Prix that I don't hate, but I'm not crazy about compared to the other models. No, there's no train line there. It's just a, a separation of homes and industry. That's... Strange still nevertheless though. Yeah, 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 an old red Buick. I've seen a few of these that color, which is odd actually. Because uh I don't know, it's just two thousands, you know, just I don't really think of colors too much. But then again I'm rambling on. I've been walking a long time today. Walk in, walk in on a tight rope of insanity, walk in on the verge of losing you. Say, say to me. <laughs> okay, it's getting a little more boring here now. There's, there's no more garages. The uh, industrial buildings are getting newer. You know, they're more newer. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end this right at the corner over here. And uh, head towards uh, La Cordaire. La Cordaire Street. Fuck, it's probably a Subaru. Fucking their two-stroke engines. Fucking goddamn it, they sound like Detroit diesels a bit. I hate that. Fucking Christ! Damn it. Oh well, whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna stop right here on the curve here on the bend down on the corner. Oh, you're on the bend. What the hell is this place? It's a neat sign, though. It's clever. It's clever. Okay, guys, so, uh, yeah, well, as I always say, uh, you know, hope you liked it, and, uh, no, I think the CN line is there, I don't know, it looks like it could be, because train lines, important train lines, are often elevated like that for safety's sake, so, uh, anyway, uh, oh, man, I shouldn't even be going over there, I should be going home, because the fucking goddamn feet are all wet, like I said, god damn it, all right, well, anyway, uh, you, ending here at Matsk, Match, whatever, we're going to use our stairs here. And uh, so, uh, hey, if you like what you see, by the way, and as I mentioned before, it's much appreciated if you could send me something, a donation, if you have any cash to spare, uh, through PayPal. My email is eltonmcfall at hotmail.com, eltonmcfall at hotmail.com. It would be very much appreciated since I really generally only make enough money to pay the fucking rent and uh, maybe a bill and eat, and that's about it, or bus pass. So, uh, yeah, you're... Uh, your support would be much appreciated if you can do it. If you can't, hey, whatever. I appreciate you watching anyway. Elton uh, signing off here. Bye-bye. And thanks. <laughs>